1960s, a volatile time in American history in regards to race relations and among other things. Our black leaders, gone, effectively disposed of. So we rioted, but we still had one leader who could control those angry Negroes. Wait a minute, 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 now wait. James Brown, the Negro Whisperer. And in 1967, the Negro Whisperer came to San Antonio. But was he able to work his jelly? So, a name you may or may not be familiar with, uh, who is legendary, is Archie Lee Johnson. He was a notable street figure in San Antonio's history. Archie Lee, the Mayberry, the big time pimp brothers that was here in the town. Archie Lee. Man, that's another mug, you know. So here we have a Jet Magazine article. 1967, September, man held in cop shooting, lawyer blast chief. Cop shoot, nothing new. San Antonio, Texas, Rayford Lee, shooting and killing. Rayford Lee, 26, young man. Archie Lee Johnson, 28, young man who surrendered to police. I mean, basically, he shot the cop who shot his friend, relative, just for another black man here in San Antonio, Texas, on the east side. And here you have Singer Helps Cool Riot Angry San Antonio Negroes. <laughs> and the shooting death of Rayford Lee, 26. As we said, we referenced that over to the other article from Archie Lee being involved in shooting the cops. So, the Negro Whisperer, was he successful? You can read the article here after the dance. Negroes burned down a white home dry clean establishment. So, doesn't look like the Negro Whisperer was all that successful.